Hey YouTube, this is TCA Gaming. I'm going to finally show most of everything that I have in my personal collection. More than likely this is going to take several videos. What I'm showing you here will actually be up for sale possibly. The price is firm at $500,000. If it doesn't sell, it doesn't sell. But I just thought I'd put a price on it in case somebody did want to purchase. And if you do have interest at that price, just let me know. I will label this series at the top, one out of however many videos it takes, and it will be inclusive of everything that you see. If you hear my daughter screaming in the background, that is because I just made them stay in the bedroom with mommy. It's very possible that it's going to be like that in all the videos. But anyways, if you're interested in looking at these, these are going to be long videos, fairly detailed. I may set down the camera at times just to pull out specific cards so you can see them. So, without further ado, I wanted to make a quick round of everything, give a brief overview, and then uh, we'll go through and check out what we have. So, this video is going to focus on some of the original Wizards of the Coast sets. But included in this video, we're in this series. Let's see if I can back this sucker out well. Those are all booster boxes, unique booster boxes, or theme decks, binders full of certain secret rare cards, or EXs, or something like that. Over here we've got PSA sets, or special PSA cards, more binders full of certain things, another box full of some magic, Pokemon at the bottom, maybe some Yu-Gi-Oh as well, more binders full of nothing but like certain secret rare cards. Also included will be some mythical collection boxes. Like lots of mythical collection boxes complete sets so it'd be worth it for a collector the uncut sheets and then a few other things but i'm going to go ahead and get started so that you can get an idea of what's going on here okay so we'll start off with there's a three by three tops chrome uncut sheet first edition shadowless base set and this set is in really nice condition. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set the camera down for a second and I'm going to pick up the Charizard. So when I set this down, I'll just try to have it set like something so you know that the camera is still on. I'm going to pull out just a few cards. They're double sleeved. I hate pulling them out to touch them, but you know, sometimes it's something you gotta do. Just so you guys get an idea of the condition. For the most part with my personal collection, I was very scrutiny or scrutinized. Scrutinized, I, I don't even. I was hard to please on the condition. So there's the first edition Charizard, fairly well centered. I'm gonna turn it over on the back, so on the sleeve. I mean, it's definitely worthy to grade from PSA. Don't know if it get the 10. 10s are pretty hard. But, you know, that card alone definitely pay for the entire set if it did get the 10. There's the Shadowless Charizard again. I mean, really nice condition. You see hardly any flaws with it. I'm going to put these back in the case before I begin flipping again. I'll try to limit how much I do that. So that this, these videos do not take literally forever, or literally all day. We'll put it that way, since forever definitely is an exaggeration. All right. So the way I did my collection, I like seeing the shadowless on the back side. I just kind of like seeing cards on the back side my personal preference. I don't think it damages them. In fact, I think it helps out with the bending because you have two cards just pressed against, you, against each other. These are all first edition on the front and on the back side you have the unlimited. I believe there is one card missing from the shadow set. I went through these yesterday just trying to figure out you know, what all I have and what it's worth. And I found a few holes, and that more than likely just happened because I oversold on eBay, and then I knew it was a card that I could replace pretty easily, so I sent it to the buyer. 
That's the Red Cheeks Pikachu right there. Now if you're wondering about certain variations, there it is. I think that's uh, Clefairy Doll. Yeah, so Shadow's Clefairy Doll. I mean, it's at most of five, ten dollar cards to replace. I don't like seeing holes, so I def definitely want to replace them. Uh, looks like there's some additions in here. This is uh, the No Rarity Bubble Soul Charmander Squirtle. I don't really collect Japanese cards, but these were sent to me as uh, a gift, kind of like a trade. I traded out an uncut, never released uh, Metal Energy from Neo Genesis. There was a Jumbo Metal Energy, and then um, he just sent me that, which I, I wasn't asking anything. Because I just want to add it to his Jumbo collection. I think it was Dalen. There's some cards my brother made. These were like inserts I'd gotten from a former employee, but you know you can never really tell with hollow cards, so it's not like those would be worth anything since anyone can take off the entire piece of it. It does have the white backs. Next up we have the unlimited base set. And I did not put anything on the back side of them. Again, these all should be pretty top-notch condition. I'm going to say with some of the sets that aren't worth as much, just assume near mint. There's going to be plenty of cards that are going to be in the mint range. But I wasn't as hard on condition with the sets that weren't worth as much because to me they were easily replaced. If any of you have bought off my eBay, you know when I say near mint, usually that could mean anything from possibly like a light near mint to all the way up to gradable mint condition. What we have here is something that really no one ever collected, maybe one other collector. Um, let's see if I can catch it. If you look, there's like a different sheen to it from a regular card. I could only find these on like certain first edition rares from base set and then unlimited commons from base set so I tried to collect all these which it wasn't something that I pursued very hard like there's a Pidgey well I guess that's why there's one on the back there's a damaged Pidgey that I just added in there I think that one's a um, potion which I could probably find one but I turned it backwards because it was damaged same thing with the energy right there the fire energy if somebody has interest in these and that's a big deal you know I could probably pull one out of the, uh, my back stock up here we have the base set 1999-2000 holo set. This set I, I, I try to be strict, but I wouldn't say that everything in here is super mint. Um, here's the Charizard. I mean, it's pretty good, but if you look in the flashing, it looks like there might be some light scratching in there. I wouldn't put it at a 10. But I mean, it's still pretty good. The Alakazam is missing. That's what that PSA card was. Uh, near mint, mint 8. I just didn't want to break it out of the case, but this is a 1999-2000 dated base set hollow. This set's still very hard to come by, but with the PSA Alakazam, it is complete. I think I'm one of the few sellers that still sell these cards individually. I don't sell them on eBay. I sell them on my site, tcagaming.com. You can go there and pick up a lot of these. The hollows are basically always sold out but I do have some of the, or a lot of the non hollows the rares and all that good stuff oh, that's there's there's certain cards I just chunked in here that should have been in the error binder but like let's see if I can catch it right up there when I pull these I actually pull these out of the pack it's like a little glossy part right right in here it's hard to see on camera but it was the same way with those other two right there as well Next up, we've got First Edition Jungle. There is a missing card in this. It's the First Edition Pidgeot Holographic. Again, if somebody was interested in this at that price, thought they could afford it, I would replace that card. I'm not going to pull any of these out for condition. They should all be good. And then there's also a First Edition Non-Holographic Vaporeon missing. I mean, I probably just have one of these sitting in my back stock. In the, I believe there was maybe a total of 10 cards missing out of the Wizards of the Coast series. But once we get through the errors and other stuff, you're going to see there's lots of high dollar duplicates. Then we have a 
error, no symbol, jungle hollow set. I'd say these are all in gradable condition, but PSA is so hard on these for whatever reason. Um, also included in this first binder, I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen these, these are like original decals. You can only get these in the, that square starter, blue starter set that come with like the three packs and a starter set and then you got one of these decals. I don't remember them coming from anywhere else. I got a few of those and I believe that's an ancient new folder. I don't think anything's in this ancient new folder. It might be. Yeah, it's just a folder. I believe I took all the ancient news out because the folders were easy, they were easy to come by. You could remove out stuff if you wanted. Alright, so next up we have we've got first edition fossil. Let me move this over a little bit, maybe get some like, glare off of it. Does have the unlimited on the back side. And it looks like I included a Galaxy Zap or the corrected Zapdos from 1999-2000. And then um, these are the 1999-2000 rares for the fossil. I've got three or four more to add, which I'll show in another video. I think that I'm only missing two cards now out of the non-hollow set. So there's the rest of the 1999-2000 rares. And we've got definitely got all the uncommons. We've got both versions of the right shoe, one from the pack, and then the non gloss halfway glossy looking one that you can get from Corpus. Same thing with uh, all the uncommons. We've got the gold duck, other version of that one. I'm also one of the only sellers who sell all the commons and uncommons uh, on my website TCA Gaming. So if you're looking to collect a set or you didn't even know it existed, uh, this is English, it's from 1990 2000 dated. The uncommons and the commons are definitely for sale on my website individually. And then it looks like I chunked in. This is a pre-release Aerodactyl missing part of the pre. And of course you got the Air Zapdos, which was corrected, and you got the W Kabuto. This is one one of the sets I take pride in. The um, let's get this up. Let's see if I can get this glare off of it. Black Star Promos. It is complete and includes a lot of extras. So we'll just go run through here. So like there's the gray stamp Pikachu and then you've got the sealed two through four for the um, one that come through the movie, I believe. Or yeah. The movie or you was able to redeem it from turning in your catch me from the league. So there's both versions of two through five, which you'll find there's actually another version too. There's the gray stamp Pikachu, technically a Japanese stock card. Got the sealed Game Boy Meow, sealed Mewtwo number 14, sealed Cool Porygon number 15. There's the Entei number 34, you got 41, 42 sealed. You've got the non well, those are the Pokemon Center New York versions. I guess the ones I had back here were the Scantastic ones. Which that these do not have the Pokemon Center New York stamp. Like these right here. Uh, you got the Legendary Birds. You've got the UK version. Then you've got the US version. And then this is the Australian version. Which these are really hard to find. Here we've just got different cards, I believe. Maybe these were, um, I think these, this is the Catch Mew, but it has like the birds in it or something like that. It's, it's weird, there's some kind of variation to them. There's Celebi, you've got a different, I think this is the French sealed Game Boy. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the French one, but it's still in English. Got all kinds of different ancient Mews here, like this one. The flap is different than that one, and the flaps on the back side for that one, or maybe that that one. Yeah, that you got the Australian, you got the US, you got the one without an insert. What was that UK? Oh, that one was upside down insert right there. This one was the regular US. This one was the U. No, that's German maybe. Let's see, uh, that one's cramped. That's why. Then this might be the regular US or something, something different with it. Uh, there's the UK, 
There's a Japanese ancient Mew. It's just the error ancient Mew 2. This one. This one has no insert with the flap on the back side, so that's why it's different from that one. I believe this may be more birds right here. You've got Merrill sealed, you've got the Venusaur sealed. This is the Junior Rally uh, Meowth, which is really hard to find, especially with the booklet and the Railroad Pass. Or not Junior Rally, Junior Railroad. These are the Junior Rally um, Mewtwo and Eevee in these. You've got the Scantastic Ho-Oh and Rapidash. you got the Sabrina's Abra from Nintendo Power still mounted. You've got the Dark Persian still mounted. I also have the E3. Pikachu mounted and the Gata Mew glossy version and um, still sealed, but that's not another binder. I haven't transferred them yet. We got the Southern Islands. It's complete. Got the best of game non winner complete. Got the best of game winner complete. Original energies. We've got the winner energies from EX Ruby Sapphire, and that's where I stopped with promos. Alright, next up, moving through some other sets. We've got base set two. Nothing really too special here, so we'll just skip on through it. Let you see all the cards, make sure. I can't remember if there's anything missing. I believe maybe a Pokemon flute is missing from this set. Number 115. Yeah, right there, whatever that is. I think it's Pokemon flute. We have first edition Team Rocket. And then on the, well, I guess we I haven't transferred those to the back yet. Looking pretty complete. We got the dark right up there at the top. Got unlimited Team Rocket. Looks like Rainbow Energy is missing from right there. Included is a pre-release Dark Gyarados. It looks like the Dark Arbok from Hong Kong with the W stamp. Now we're on to first edition Gym Heroes. I remember at a time I had like 10 of these sets right here, first edition complete. And I didn't get them out of boxes. I bought them like off of other sellers. But I can imagine at times there were people who had dozens of these. Gary, if you're watching this, maybe you. Alright, we've got Unlimited Team Rock, or Gym Heroes. I don't think anything's missing from the Gym Heroes. There might be one or two cards missing from the Gym Challenge series. There's the W side up. First edition gym challenge. And I expect a lot of these cards. I mean, you could grade this stuff. I priced it based off of like high retail ungraded, if that makes any sense. I believe that's Sabrina's Haunter that's missing in that spot. And <clears throat> when we get to the ultra rare binders, I mean, that really makes a difference in the price. Then we have unlimited gym challenge right here. Looks like Blaine's Arcanine is missing up there, which I think I've got a few of those online, so I'll pull that off pretty quick. Just so all these videos don't stay super long, after I finish with the gym challenge binder, I'm gonna end it before I go into Neo and E-Reader, and I'll start right back up. realize these sets aren't terribly interesting, but hopefully uh, you find something cool with them. Uh, there's a Brox Vulpix W Gold Stamp. We've got the corrected Rocket's Minefield, which if you look down here, it says if Tails put two damage counters on that Pokemon. The original does not say that. It says if Tails put damage counters. But it says put two. 
then you've got the Blaine's Charizard corrected which if you look right here has the fire energy right there in the description on the original it does not it has fighting let me flip back to that just in case you didn't know about it if you look right there it's the fighting energy discard all fighting energy cards which doesn't really make much sense I think I just stuck this back here because the back side had lost some kind of tint to it just a you know, random extra anyways thanks for watching the first video of the collection that I have it's going to take many videos hopefully not it won't take terribly too long but anyways I hope you enjoy it thanks